Hey guys, welcome back to the desk corner. Welcome if you are new and you haven't been here yet before. Today's video is exciting because I'm going to be doing a little bit of a paper comparison, if you will, between between the Strathmore 300 series and 500 series. There's a bit of a price point difference between these two and a lot of people wonder um, how different the paper actually is and if it's worth it to upgrade from 300 or 400 series paper up to 500 series paper. And if you guys saw my Christmas art supply haul, which is a little bit shameful, but I'll link it up above or down below for you guys to watch if you haven't seen it. In the haul, one of the items that I showed was this, and this is the Strathmore 500 series Bristol vellum surface paper. There's dust. Um, they didn't have the plate surface. It was out of stock, but I got the vellum surface. And I also have Bristol vellum 300 series by Strathmore as well. There are some more specifics to talk about, but we'll do that when we get to the desk view. For those of you wondering why I look like I'm from like the 1940s or 50s today, it's because being at home and working at home all the time means I can do crazy things to my hair. Um, just for fun, and it doesn't really matter because nobody's going to see it. My cat's also with me here today, so you might hear some cat noises in the background. Um, yeah, I think that's all for the disclaimers, and let's get right into the video. I am looking here to see some of the differences between these that are printed on the front. So up here it says 300 series, better. <laughs> this one says 500 series, premium. Bristol vellum surface, they both say that. But the 500 series says it's 100% cotton, which we all know as artists, that's a really good sign. Now I've already taken a look at this one, and what's really interesting is that the paper um, is actually less toothy and has less texture than this one. So I've actually started a sketch on this paper. I'm going to grab it and then we can compare the paper and how it looks to this um, 300 series one. So here's a sketch I did yesterday on the 500 series paper, and when I open up the 300 series, I'm going to have to zoom in to show you guys the difference here, and I hope that you guys can see the difference here. I'll try to zoom in more when I'm editing, um, but the 300 series, which is on the right, has more of a texture versus the 500 series, and they're both supposed to be vellum surface, um, but I find with the 300 series, sometimes when I'm working on pieces, the pencil seems to get stuck, and I seem to get more of a grainy look, but the 500 series surface looks a little bit less toothy, and more even textured compared to this one that has a bunch of little like nicks in it. There's a lot of them in this one, which could be an issue depending on how you like your colored pencil work and other work to come out. I think I'm gonna have to show you guys an example for you guys to really understand. Here's a Kylo Ren piece I did about a year ago. I used solvent for the background to blend it out, um, and I didn't use that for the face. So you can see if you look closely, I'll zoom in on the skin. Even though I added a bunch of layers, and I'm talking about just a million layers, which is why I like this paper, it's great for layering, but even though I added a bunch of layers of colored pencil, you can still see the surface of the paper, the texture, really well through those, and I never smoothed it out or burnished it because I didn't want to for this particular piece, um, but when you zoom in, you can definitely see the texture still on his face and neck, basically all of the skin areas that I didn't burnish and press really hard into, and I used solvent in the background, but I still got some texture showing through. Um, so my thought is that this paper, the 500 series, is going to be less textured, and maybe I'm able to get a smoother result, um, but I'm not completely sure. I am going to test it out with graphite, or maybe some charcoal too, um, with this crocodile piece that I'm going to be working on. And I'll probably make some different videos about this piece because it is going to take me a long time to do. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Oh, and then for those of you guys wondering the difference between the Strathmore Bristol Vellum and Smooth, I'll grab the Smooth for you as well so you guys can see and I'll show you. So here's my Bristol Smooth pad. I'm actually almost out of this one, so I ordered another one and I could only find the 400 series, um, which it makes everything just more confusing, right? Because now we have the 300, the 400, and the 500 series. But as far as the differences between the 300 and the 400 go, I really could not tell you guys. And it actually came binded like this, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to use these unless I'm able to remove the paper from the back. I do get questions though about the difference between smooth and vellum, and I will show you guys. The smooth is really smooth, like cardstock status. It is slippery, the surface is slippery, um, and if you are using pen or ink, this is better than vellum because with vellum, 
your pen, of course, is going to get stuck or your marker or whatever you're using is going to get stuck in all of the grooves of the paper because there's a lot of grooves. As far as colored pencil goes, though, it's hard to add a lot of layers with the smooth, as you can imagine, because there's not much tooth and the paper is really slippery. But then the vellum has the issue of the texture being a little too much. That being said though, let's get into trying out the 500 series vellum surface. I'm really excited for this. My first piece trying out this paper, so let's go. I decided to go with my oil-based charcoal pencils as well as my graphite pencils. So I'm going to use a combination of Faber-Castell and Staedtler. Just use what I have because I like both brands. As far as the oil-based charcoal goes, the brand is Create-A-Color, and the reason I'm using this is because I like to use it honestly more than normal charcoal pencils because it creates less powder, it just goes on more smoothly, and it's not as messy to use, so I do recommend that. Um, so I chose that to use with my graphite pencils because I think that they work very nicely together. So what were my first impressions with the paper? I definitely like using this more than the 300 series paper because the grooves in this paper, the tooth of the paper, is a lot finer and more even. So if any of the paper shows through as I'm layering, first of all, the layers eventually get rid of that if I don't want it. So there's no struggle of trying to get rid of the grain because eventually I was able to do that without too much effort, just a couple of additional layers in the areas that I want to get very dark or smooth. Um, but also it seems as if the texture of this paper is more even in comparison to the 300 series vellum where some of the grooves are a little uneven and kind of funky looking, just a little bit weird. And it's also really hard to get rid of the grain in that paper as well. Even when you're using something like solvent, there's a lot of texture that shows through with the 300 series. Now I know that I'm using my charcoal pencil a little bit more than my graphite pencils here just because it's the beginning stages and I'm filling in my shadowed areas and blocking in those darker areas first, but sometimes occasionally you see me go in with my graphite pencil and fill in some softer and lighter areas as well. I think that both charcoal and graphite go on really nicely on this paper and I didn't have any issues. So do I think that this is worth the higher price compared to the 300 series? I definitely do, if not for the fact that it's 100% cotton alone. Just um, working with the paper is an, a lot nicer and you're able to get more of a smooth lay down and not as many grooves and grain of the paper showing through worrying about any you don't have to worry about any uneven textures or anything like that i don't know why the 300 series vellum surface tends to have some weird kind of funky textures going on with it if this is not within your price range though and you're trying to be a little bit more um, budget friendly i would say that the 400 series mixed media paper is still a better choice than the 300 series bristol vellum paper if you're going with strathmore um, but i definitely do see the quality difference in this paper and i understand why it's at a higher price point and I understand why it's a favorite amongst many artists. I have already done a paper comparison video, I'll link that somewhere down below, and I do get a lot of questions about paper. It seems to be a hot topic. I want to make more videos related to paper. I'm just a little hesitant just because it's so based on personal preference and my opinions of course are biased to what I prefer. But I was thinking of making a video where I talk about the different qualities of each paper and then letting you guys decide which one you would prefer to buy for those of you that don't know what to buy just because it's based so much in personal preference that my favorite paper might not be someone else's favorite paper. That all being said though, I still want to make videos related to paper because it seems to be an underrated topic. It actually plays a huge part in how your artwork turns out and me um, different mediums will go on differently depending on what type of paper you're using. So it is actually a pretty important tool when it comes to art and I plan to make some more videos on it. So if you have any video ideas related to paper, let me know in the comments down below. That's about all for today's video, guys. I hope it was helpful or at least enjoyable for you guys to watch and thank you as always for watching. This is a bonus video. I'm posting another one this week as well. I can't really commit to posting twice a week every single week, but I'm gonna do it as often as I can because I really do enjoy making these videos for you guys. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.